What's going on everybody? Mike here. So today I wanted to take a few minutes and talk to you about my Leatherman Rebar and my Leatherman Micra. Now I like to carry these two together because the Leatherman Micra is a big pair of scissors and the Leatherman Rebar doesn't have a pair of scissors on it. I carry the Micra attached to my car key with this S-Beaner here and it is actually a locking S-Beaner so that way it can't slip off while it's jingling around in my pocket. So like I said, the Micra is a pair of scissors, and now it's spring-loaded, so it's easy access. On one side, you have a pair of tweezers. Now on the pair of tweezers, I've added this pin with a piece of heat shrink tubing as to use for different things like digging out splinters and poking holes and pieces of paper and things you need to do. I've left it far enough back here so that you can still use the tweezers as a pair of tweezers, and it stays out of the way. Right next to it, you have a small Phillips head screwdriver. Now this is a 2D Phillips head screwdriver but it works pretty well with different screws. Big screws, small screws, no problem. On that side as well you have a small flathead screwdriver with a bottle slash can opener. On the other side you have a small pocket knife which I don't use very much just to keep it sharp. You also have a fingernail cleaner with a small file and a larger flathead screwdriver. And then it closes back up into a nice small package. Now moving on to the rebar, it has a nice pair of pliers with needle nose pliers and a regular bolt head pliers. Now it has replaceable jaws. so. If you're ever cutting something a little too big, you can replace them if they chip out or over time wear out. You have a normal plain edge knife, a large flathead screwdriver, a small flathead screwdriver, and an awl with a hole in it in case you need to make repairs to your gear or sew something together. And then you also have a pretty good file here with don't cross hatch on one side and single direction on the other. Now the nice thing about this file is it's actually got <clears throat> it's actually got grooves on this here so you can use it to file straight through something. Now right next to the file here is the lanyard hole. The lanyard hole doesn't really lock in like the rest of the tools so it kind of just flops there. So if you actually wanted to use it for a lanyard hole, it would work pretty well, but it doesn't really lock into place. And what I mean by that is here on this Gerber, it locks into place, and you could use it as a, sort of a thumb support. On the other side, you have a serrated blade with <clears throat> a non-pointed end, so if you needed to reach into a car and cut somebody's seatbelt, you wouldn't run the risk of stabbing them. You also have a can opener, and the can opener works pretty well. I've used it to open cans, and it works really well. I haven't had any problems with it yet. Now, the thing I really like about this multi-tool is it has this long Phillips screwdriver, and that comes in handy for me a lot. I do a lot of different things with it, so I really like that. And then, finally, you have a saw. Now, the saw is actually got teeth in both directions so it's a pretty good saw. Well that's my Leatherman Rebar and my Leatherman Micra. Thank you for watching.